Hey, 8th graders. Sorry I couldn't be here today. Please be kind to whoever is helping me out and covering my class. Might be Mr. Tuck. Um, might be Mr. Cavison. Be kind. Anyway, uh, today you guys are going to do this review. It's on uh, slide-based, and the topics are going to be variables, uh, like experimental variables, motion, things like speed and velocity, forces, we studied net force and friction, specific heat, and then we'll go back to chemistry. So I'm just going to give you a quick run through, check out this video, and it'll help you get these slides done. So independent, independent variables to start. Remember, read about the situation, we've done these before, and then tell me, what is the independent variable? What is a dependent variable? And what should remain constant in this experiment? You're also going to have to tell me how you would create a good hypothesis. So remember, it's an if-then statement. If, statement about the independent variable, then, statement about the dependent variable. Tell me how many trials should be done and why. And tell me about a good control group. Remember, in the hydrogen peroxide lab we did, the, con the um, chemical reaction lab, our control group was water. We knew that it wouldn't react, and we wanted to make sure that the hydrogen peroxide was really creating the reaction. So what group would you create that doesn't have your independent variable? You guys will then move on. There's another one of those questions. You'll then move on to solving for speed and velocity. There's six of these problems. Four problems solving for acceleration. The formula is available here. Some problems solving for net force different types of friction, net force, and then some problems uh, asking about specific heat. So you'll have to define specific heat, you'll have to solve this problem, and then you'll have to once again click this link and research various specific heats of substances. Now that you're more familiar with different chemicals, different elements, you can find maybe the element you used in your periodic table project, maybe some elements in the periodic table that you're now more familiar with, like lithium. Lithium, whoa. Platinum. That's a really good conductor, 133. Lithium, I can't even believe that. 3582, that's a terrible conductor. Um, once you've done that, you'll move on to the last part which is building some ball and stick models. You guys always have fun with this. So what you're going to do it this time is build these seven models, make a little label on a piece of paper, and then upload your image. Email it to yourself, um, however you want to do it, and put it right here so I can see all the models that you made in an image, uh, and you're done. If you want um, this slide might get updated, but basically you're going to have a new homework assignment in the workbook. You can start on that, do something constructive, but make sure that you finish this and like it says on the first slide, submit it to Google Classroom. On all those slides with calculations as well, make sure you use proper units, please. Have fun. I miss you guys. Be good. Bye.